a container of liquid nitrogen. And this is a cup with a bunch of pennies in it. And just like any normal person would do in this situation, we're going to mix the nitrogen with the pennies. While all pennies look more or less alike, there's a big difference between newer pennies and older pennies. Older pennies are made mostly out of copper, but newer pennies are made mostly out of zinc. They just look like copper because they have a thin copper plating on them. The transition between copper pennies and zinc pennies happened in 1982. There's also a big difference between copper and zinc when they get cold. Copper doesn't mind so much. I can hit an older penny with a hammer and nothing really bad happens. Zinc, however, gets really brittle when it's cold. If I hit a newer penny with a hammer, it shatters. I'm going to try that when I get a penny. What happened? What did they do? It's fun. They froze the Yeah, they froze pennies. What did they put it in? Liquid nitrogen, what are we talking about today? Liquid nitrogen, but nitrogen, okay? We talked about uh, the water cycle, the carbon cycle, today we're talking about the nitrogen cycle, okay? Uh, before I poison your minds with nitrogen cycle, I want to know what y'all know, okay? Uh, so on your sheet of paper, I want you to write down two things. What you know about nitrogen is cold. Where do we find nitrogen? All right. On your own, real quick, write down your thoughts. What do you know? Where do you find it? No. Don't have to write the question. Write a couple. Write a couple thoughts down. Take what? Take Amadou, what do you need to do? Take some. 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 Take
Yeah, it tells our body how to make its structure. That's our instructions. Okay, you can't build Lego. I mean, you can. Kind of. But you can't, like, figure out how to build that set of Legos without the instructions. So if we don't have like, our instructions, we can't be built. No proteins in the same deal. We, we lose all of our body function. So what has to happen? We have to make nitrogen biologically available. So the past couple days, I've given y'all some, uh, some pictures. Okay, I gave you this picture of the nitrogen cycle. Or sorry, the carbon cycle. Uh, kind of like that. Okay, so ours is a little bit different. That's a Mr. Darden original. Okay, the picture of the water cycle. Mr. Darden original. Today, you are coming up with your own. Okay? For the nitrogen cycle. Now, carbon, water, they're, they're, well, water's pretty easy to make. Uh, but y'all are smart enough to come up with a good picture of how nitrogen flows through the atmosphere on your own to help you make connections. Uh, the goal of today is I can use my knowledge of biogeochemical cycles to create a diagram of the nitrogen cycle. We're going to do that by using uh, the literature on in your textbook about that cycle. Okay? I don't want something that looks like this. All right, that's the carbon cycle in your book. Don't want that. That's confusing. I want something that looks like the cycles that we've been drawing. Okay, the diagrams we have that are simple, they're easy little flow charts. It's nice and easy. Okay. So here are the steps. First, I want you to read on page 84 that section called the nitrogen cycle. And you're going to pull out the key concepts, okay, the key components. So anything that has nitrogen in it, and anything that moves nitrogen in the biosphere. Okay? Anything that has nitrogen in it, anything that moves nitrogen. That's what I want you to write down. Doesn't have to be a paragraph, I want a list. A list of things. Okay? Let's go on the list. Go ahead. I can be on the same. Somebody around here, two people around you, complete your list. Make sure you have all the different types of nitrogen in, in, in and around the biosphere and everything that's moving nitrogen around the biosphere. Complete that list. Talk to somebody. All right, let's start off with our list. What are our nitrogen containing chemicals? Do what? Nitrogen. nitrogen gas, and what's that? The gas law yeah, of nitrogen. Nitrogen gas. Ammonia. Alright, who said it? Ammonia, what's that? NH3. NH3. Here's the next challenge. Y'all need to take these key components, and you're making a diagram, very similar to what we made for the carbon and water cycle. You're making your own diagram. You can work with a partner. Well, listen. You can work with a partner. Make your own diagram. It has to include all this stuff. Okay? What's a good place to start? By atmosphere. That's where we talk about nitrogen, you know, being the most. Okay, so I would start in the atmosphere. Make sure you include what type of nitrogen is in the atmosphere and then tell me where we're going next. Exactly the same as this one. 
But it's got to have the same stuff included. Right? So Chris, what's a good place to start? Chris Kane, what's a good place to start? Atmosphere. Alright, so we're always starting in the atmosphere. Actually, I'm going to move this over a little bit. <laughs> Luan, what type of gas do we have in the atmosphere? Uh, nitrogen gas. And what is it? N2. Y'all, again, any nitrogen's in purple on the board. So we got N2 in the atmosphere. Where is it headed, Walter? Where are we going from the atmosphere? We're going to the soil. So y'all, in my picture, I'm going to have a whole line of soil here. All right. That's all soil. Exactly. It could very easily be water too. Y'all, that's part of this chart. This could be soil. It can also be water. All right. So it's either soil or water. That's important to remember. So we start off as atmospheric nitrogen. And we move to the soil, just floating on down. What takes atmospheric nitrogen and brings it into the soil? Bacteria. What type of bacteria? Nitrogen fixing bacteria. Y'all, I'm going to abbreviate that in fixing bacteria. But I'm including that on my chart. Y'all should too. All right, and Clyde, nitrogen fixing bacteria, what type of nitrogen is it making? It's making ammonia, which is what? NH3. So, y'all, it's making NH3. And that's headed down here. So, that NH3, what's going to happen to it? All right, if we keep reading it here, so we just got to, and I want y'all to read along with me. I'm in the middle of that second paragraph. Some of these nitrogen-fixing nitrogen bacteria live in the soil and on the roots of certain plants, such as peanuts and peas, called legumes. Other bacteria, other bacteria convert that fixed nitrogen into nitrates and nitrites. What just happened? Nitrates and nitrites. What's a nitrate? NO3. All right, and Sydney, what's a nitrite? NO2. Where'd you go, Walter? What is it, Sydney? That's nitrate. What's nitrite? NO2. NO2. All right, NO2. Uh, here's my last little bit of thinking I want y'all to do, and then y'all can back up, okay? How do the nitrogen cycle and the water cycle interact? I want you to write down, you know, just two sentences. How do the, how do the nitrogen cycle and the water cycle interact? Didn't talk about it, but I think you'll figure it out. And if I can check it, if I can walk around and check it real fast, it won't turn it